<laughs> I don't, no worries. You're good. Okay, go ahead. Cool. Um, so just some quick updates. Uh, on the PSTAO side, things have been moving along. We are uh, working on a big tweet storm, I think the term might be called these days. I don't know. Twitter thread that uh, is going to get some attention <clears throat> by uh, Representative uh, Victoria Sparks, which uh, we had on like, last week. Um, and uh, so hopefully that, you know, is kind of a um, way that we can get some more funding in the Treasury. Um, in uh, some other news, we released an article today, and uh, in the marketing guild, we've been hard at work. Um, Felix uh, is starting a podcast um, that I'll be helping on as well. We're looking for anyone else who wants to contribute there as well. So um, we had our first call for it the other day, just kind of discussed that we were thinking about doing a uh, yeah. YouTube slash uh, so it have it have video as well slash uh, you know podcast um, that we would talk to other movers in the space that are uh, you know creating impact projects uh, to give us really a platform to um, talk about all different types of issues uh, connect with other communities and um, you know see how Web three is really being able to solve some of these issues um so that would be really cool once we get that going um so if anyone has any input uh feel free to join the the marketing guild um through the uh the marketing role and uh get started there am i, am I echoing by the way is there any echoes going on okay cool um and uh, what else? We got um, a call scheduled today, I think, after this call um, to talk about uh, one of the movements in action that we've been having uh, discussions around for a while now, led by Selena, um, to see what we might be able to do for next steps. So more of just kind of an ideation. Um, Selena is uh, kind of driving a community-owned farm uh, in uh, Miami. And uh, you can read all about that in the Community Farms channel. Um, so want to, you know, she's interested in creating a movement out of that. And we're kind of, you know, trying to figure out what that means and how we can uh, make what she's doing even better. Um, so if you're interested after this call, uh, join us there. And uh, what else do we have going on in the community today? Um, oh, we're got we've got a uh, little presentation um, for people in the developer guild um, for the, kind of what's going on with the um, protocol and uh, the move platform. So uh, we're gonna have a discussion with Tank Bottoms, lead developer on that on Monday, and then that will be discussed among the, uh, or presented to the broader group in, in a town hall at some point um, after that. So that will be exciting to see what the Juicebox V2 protocol is gonna look like and uh, all the exciting product related updates. Yeah, um, if I might, if I might add a little bit on that, yeah. um, if anybody here um, has any questions um, or confusions about the nature of the move platform, um, or you just want a little clarity on some of the points of like functionality, um, Tank Bottoms asked like for any of those questions so that he can kind of include them in the presentation, and there will be opportunity for feedback as well during the first presentation. And then from that feedback, we'll produce, um, I wanna produce a, a video of, of his um, final you know, presentation off of that. So yeah, if, any, if anybody has any, both like your own questions or feedback that you have about certain points that 
are not made totally clear by the website or the documentation. Um, that'd be awesome. And then while he's giving that presentation, we can use that as a opportunity to fill in some of the, if there's any missing, um, anything missing from the documentation. So I wanna make a um, move product vision uh, page in the Notion to, um, to have like both a robust presentation of the move product vision as it's being developed by Tank Bottoms and team, um, and then also um, visions for others as far as proposed, like um, product design proposals, uh, functionality proposals. So if you have any of those questions, you can post them in the dev general channel. And there's a let us meet for that on Monday. Awesome, exciting stuff. Um, I, I can imagine that there's going to be a lot of questions because I myself have a few questions. Yeah, um, I'm really, I'm really excited about hearing it from Tank Bottoms himself. Because, um, like, yeah. Anyway, I think it's just going to be a great opportunity for all of us um, to gain some clarity on on long-term product vision, and it's going to be great. Yeah, and, and kind of related to that, uh, we've been talking a lot about our document management um, and, uh, you know, kind of Gitbook is what we're using right now. And uh, as long as, our, as well as our website, just kind of all our content um, and that it's, you know, obviously if people have been through it all, it's a little bit, um, you know, maybe disorganized and uh, maybe some things need updates or, you know, could be confusing. So. Um, we are, you know, along with the uh, initiative that, that Maiko just mentioned, we're trying to move to a better solution. So, um, you know, we've been having discussions around um, in the developer guild, the uh, or the developer channel, the um, uh, alternatives like uh, DocuSource, if anyone's ever heard of that, and just kind of what we have to do to, to implement something that's a little bit more streamlined, a little bit uh, more comprehensive so that we can, as the community, um, make the updates to not only our docs, but our, our website as well easily and kind of, you know, consolidate all that information, update it as um, as we need to, because right now it's a little bit difficult to do that. So if anyone is interested in any of that, uh, please join us in there because we desperately need help on the tech side. Mike, I'm not sure if you had any points to add to that. Not necessarily on the aspect of, of which platform we're using to do it, but I, I am excited to contribute more to the, um, like we have the Gitbook for the public side and we have the notion for the internal documentation, right? And so I'm excited to work through the Gitbook and just um, get it as crisp and clean and clear as possible, um, especially as we continue to develop our product vision and move forward um, and like cultivate our messaging and everything like that. So um, I'm excited to start doing that as I gain more bandwidth um, as I'm uh, settling back into home next week. So um, yeah, that'll be awesome. Yeah, and I know our, our onboarding and uh you know, just kind of making it simple for new people coming in to understand everything we're doing. Totally. Um, it's kind of at attached to all that. So yeah. hopefully whatever solution we come up with will make it super easy for um, us to, you know, make that experience better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and on that note, I have a, um, I gave C-double 
a um, a couple items for for Discord um, um, changes to integrate the Airtable form and get that going. So um, we're gonna change the start here page to give a little bit more of a description of what Movement DAO is and what we're doing in creating Move, and then that'll take them to the form, which can be as simple or as complex as they make it, depending on their interest and how, how interested they are in getting involved. Um, and then from there, they'll land on a um, sort of a, a next step page that will describe to them how to how to sign up for an onboarding call, how to sign up for the guild meetings that they're interested in, um, town halls, and and then um, lead them towards some of the more detailed documentation. So that's getting close to being live. It's exciting. I'm stoked to see that. Me too. It's uh, taking longer than I wanted it to. Just just because, I mean, there's there was a hiccup in getting it integrated. It, I was planning on integrating the website and we're shifting over to Discord. And now I'm in the process of uh, relocate, moving and relocating um, and, you know, doing other, doing other things within movement. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's going to happen and it's going to be great. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Looking forward to that. I know there's a lot of moving parts associated with that. So mm -hmm. No, it's a big, bit of a big lift. Appreciate yeah. all the work on that. Absolutely. I think that's about it on general updates. Um, and we got some some new people in here that that just joined. Uh, Nicholas, I don't know if I've seen you in here before. How how are you doing? And hey, Mark. Rice cracker. Anyone have any uh, anything they want to say or um, updates? I've got a few, Anyone want I've got a few notes here. Um, I've scheduled a, an AMA with City Dow um, for next week, Tuesday. Um, at 2 p.m. Pacific time. So um, anyone who's interested in joining in on that, um, you can uh, hit me up and be in contact about, about details. We're still kind of setting it up. So that's a tentative date. Um, and then I'll, um, I guess I can post something in the general once it's uh, set in stone, but that should be fun. And I'm excited about sort of uh, pursuing more of that kind of engagement with other DAO communities. Um, to spread the word on on move, especially in particular once we launch the move platform, because um, right now it's like kind of everything is a little bit hypothetical and vague. Um, but once we have the platform, it's like go here, do this. This is what it's like. It's happening, um, and I feel the same way about tabling at um, like ETH conferences. So. Um, that, that's going to be really awesome. That'll also be something I think we want to wait until we have a working product um, for. But like, since we have a rough idea of launch, we can start preparing for some of those events. And I'd be happy to be somebody to, to fly around to conferences and chill. Um, but we, we could talk about like budget for that kind of thing um, and, and everything else. And then I want to also um, create a physical how to launch a movement handbook. And part of the inspiration for that is um, setting up some kind of collaboration with Cabin DAO. Um, I'm at Cabin, I'm at, I'm at Node Zero right now um, doing Build Week, and, and it's really, really cool. The way that they have it set up is very, very awesome. Like everybody here has their own office um, in their bedroom. And so everybody's doing like async work and then just like coming together for dinner and um, working outside and building things and just like sharing ideas. And it's amazing how much inspiration just goes flying when you are together um, in the physical. And um, that's really exciting. And a lot of the folks here are really excited about movement. So 
I've onboarded a good handful of uh, future community members and contributors. Um, and I would love to have like, I think, so they, they host, um, they host DAO residency programs where they basically like sponsor um, people building DAO projects to come stay at the cabin and build. And then they also host DAO retreats uh, for specific DAOs that come here. So I figure for like the DAO residency, um, a, a, a collaboration with Cabin DAO could look like basically really handing the move platform to DAO residents here to say like, we know you all are building DAOs. So, he, you know, here's one option. You can build your DAO on the move platform um, and having like a physical handbook here at the cabin uh, for folks to reference would be pretty cool. And I also just would like to have like a physical handbook to give to my activist friends and environmentalists and people who just don't really spend that much time online and we're doing stuff um, IRL and it'll be great to just have something to to hand. <laughs> hand off yeah i think i think that's awesome i mean for like the ama or anything like that i'm happy to help michael um i think that's like terrific i mean i've we, we've talked about this a lot but like i feel like you know the the platform that movement will offer people is so powerful that really like the kind of you know market facing pushes we we should be doing i think that that's where a lot of energy should be so that would be like tabling at conferences that's what one reason i'm so passionate about the podcast i think engaging people and once they can wrap their head around what it is and and ease of access and and how it works you know i feel like that's that's really where it's going to it's going to blow up and really make some terrific impact uh in precisely a lot of web3 places don't want to get out of web3 right and with movement i feel like it's like we're totally swimming the opposite way where we're like we we want to harness all this creative energy and all this um all this power for activism and show them that this is this is actually an accessible way to do it and to do it better than other platforms that currently exist so i'm totally down with you to uh to shill at events um or help with the ama so let me know if you need if you need anything i'm, I'm definitely here very cool Nice. Yeah, and hopefully our new, new uh, podcasts will be a big enabler of that. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. That's cool. Do you guys have you guys developed a launch date uh, or a rough <laughs> idea of, of like of launch? I mean, I, I don't know, Stacker. I mean, I guess you know, best case we we want to do it soon. I mean, within the next couple of weeks, we wow. still have to flesh out like you know some of the technicalities and formatting stuff, but. Nice. Um, Stacker and I worked out like we we have no shortage of of speakers, you know, people that would be on and would love to talk. So I think it's it's just about kind of putting the pieces together at this point. Cool, that's exciting. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to to contribute to that as well. Yeah, on that piece, uh, I think we we might have someone already. Um, but uh, if anyone has any experience. On the back end of podcasts, setting up, you know, OBS uh, or whatever type of technology, and kind of getting things running from that perspective, um, would love to have you contribute. So definitely uh, either DM me or um, put it up. You know, your interest in the marketing guild. So I will also throw out, I, th I do want to say that um, people at Juicebox are also looking at, at getting out more in events, engagement stuff. So there might be some collaboration opportunities too, because, um, you know, down the line for that, which, which we can explore, you know, as we get there. Definitely. And, and yeah, I think going back to what Micah was saying before around doing AMAs and other types of things with other projects. I um, think that's going to be super big. And we were talking about this the other day in uh, one of our marketing guild chats, but um, coming up with like a, you know, standard messaging and, uh, and, and also the product vision type stuff that Michael you're working on and with, with tank bottom is going to be super important for, for that. And I, I know we kind of created a, a little bit of, 
a deck already that we've um you know kind of still working on tweaking but um all that type of stuff will be super important for uh uh clearing up that message and being able to go and talk about it um in other places so definitely uh want to help there as much as i can so maybe we can think about that in the next uh marketing call yeah i'm happy to continue to um to contribute and edit the um that deck i wasn't quite sure if uh if you ran with it and we're already utilizing it or if i could continue to um to to go to work my way through it um what's the, what's the status on that are we, are we still working on it on the deck uh i think um i mean i defer to fuego because i i mean it, i think it was being used by us to just kind of talk to a few uh, partners about um but i know that we were wanting to you know get that to another iteration uh at some point yeah i think there's more work to be done there um we actually uh kind of fast-tracked it to uh we were talking with polygon um about a potential grant opportunity and um and also kind of marketing opportunity as we're building out um you know, some parts that, you know, we've already built the uh, juice box V2 fork on Polygon. Um, so as we continue to go in that direction, um, we, uh, we've had some constructive conversations about um, receiving a grant for development. Um, but anyway, that was the purpose of the presentation. But I think, um, you know, it never was uh never really like crossed our minds about having an investor deck uh, because we were we're not looking for vc money or anything but um we've also talked with uh harmony as well and uh there's just so much grant money out there so that was kind of the purpose of the deck but i think the more we work on that the more um dialed in we're getting with positioning and uh and just marketing as a whole. So would love any and all input there. Cool. I'll, I'll keep working on that when I get a, when I get a chance. And um, yeah, the Harmony, the Harmony grants are really abundant. Um, how did those conversations go? Cause I know they obviously want you to launch on the Harmony chain. Is that something that um, is being considered? Um, we're in early and slow talks with Harmony, but, um, the idea was to, uh, you know, basically create a bridge and, um, you know, we've had other conversations about, um, you know, how can we play nice with other DAOs, other chains, um, and, uh, and also take advantage of free money that's flying around so um so yeah very early conversations with harmony it's going pretty slow to be honest but um it was a good exercise for sure yeah i'm sure they're probably busy with millions of other DAOs that are probably bombarding them with messages but i think i think we really are in a good place as a platform to have those types of conversations and get that uh th that type of grant money because ultimately like we're going to be able to enable all the other projects on all those chains. Yeah, they, they were all over ETH Denver, just really putting it out there to everyone. They're like, Hey guys, we've allocated at least 300 million just to get people to build on harmony. So whatever you got, whatever you want to do, if you're building on harmony, like we'll fund you. I think they're giving 80 grand to any DAO that follows their, uh, their template to launch on Harmony. Um, pretty wild. But as a platform, you know, that's on a whole other level. 
from just being a DAO. Um, you're talking about being a DAO launch platform for people to launch on Harmony is pretty huge. I'm sure they'd be pretty attracted to that idea. Anyone else have any thoughts? Is there anything anyone's working on? Anything anyone saw this week that was cool? Interesting DAOs? Projects? I was introduced to a really cool project called Nemus, and um, one of the folks here at um, at the cabin was showing this to me because uh, they thought they would be interested in movement. Um, Nemus dot Earth. I'll um, I'll post it in the general. Um, their website is really nice, um, and they have a whole. They have a whole app. Basically, they're they're trying to restore um, Amazon rainforest, and they're doing like a Decentraland style plot purchase, kind of NFT mint um, to fund the restoration of the protection of of old growth rainforest and the restoration of just of devastated territory. Um, and their aesthetic is just like mint. Like um, their art is incredibly beautiful and um, they've gamified it in an excellent way. And their, their app is really fun and engaging. It has like a three-dimensional map that you can zoom into of the actual rainforest plot that they own uh, where you can roll through and um, like pick specific parts of the land that you want to support. Pretty cool. You sent that the other day. I thought the website is really cool. Mm. Also, something I forgot to mention, um, we are uh, trying to make a video for uh for move uh that's around kind of a testimonial based video <clears throat> that would live on the home page um and we are in the early phases of just trying to get some community proposals together um we've got one on the table so far and i think we've got a couple people working on some others and looking to get those closed off next week uh this is all happening in the marketing guild um, but part of that is going to be probably like uh, sourcing, um, you know, little testimonials uh, and, and just kind of understanding what our community is like, why, why, why you're all here and, you know, what, what movement DAO, um, why movement DAO excites you, what, you know, your life looks like at movement DAO. And, you know, I know that we don't necessarily have a whole lot of, uh, of movements on the platform yet, but um, you know, it'd be cool to sort of get a, a snapshot of what our community looks like. So if anyone's interested in participating in something like that or has any ideas, thoughts, uh, please do join us in there and uh, let us know. Nice. I'm getting excited about this um, idea of, uh, of of making a comic book about the life of a of an impact bounty hunter who basically um, just gets gigs off of the Move platform, like distributed bounty board um, that's like shared between all these different impact movements, 
and uh, they just like travel the world um, making a living by um, you know performing actions for positive impact and um, I met I made a connection to the gentleman who actually produced the comics for Gitcoin and um, so I'll talk to I'll be, I'll be talking with some different artists and um, sort of slowly um, getting that getting that idea together. Sounds pretty cool. I started reading those comics that you sent over from uh, from GitHub the other day. Aren't they so cool? Yeah. I, it's pretty creative. I'll, I'll post a link to those in the general channel for anyone who wants to check them out. They're really good. They're totally entertaining and very inspiring. I think that's all I've, I've got for everyone. Uh, Fuego, I don't know if you have any closing thoughts or if anyone else wants to chat about anything else. Nothing from my end. You guys are awesome. That is all. Echo that. And again, anyone who wants to uh, talk about community farms, meet in 25 minutes back yeah, here. That's going to be awesome. Together we go further. See you guys there. Oh, hey, anyone here who uh, who maybe uh, is trying to transition into full-time DAO and needs some funding, uh, DAO Punks, we, we just launched our, our first round of grants yesterday. Um, check out our Twitter for the announcement. Um, the application is really simple. We're just going to be giving away one ETH to three people. Um, and the criteria are meant deliberately very vague. So uh, we're just trying to bring more talent into uh, the DAO sphere. And uh, I'll have access to a lot of talent. So uh, if we have specific uh, talent we're looking for, it will also be like a good, sort, good source for us. Nice. Congrats on that. I'm sure a lot of people could use it. I've heard a lot of people that are trying to go full time and just can't, you know, don't, don't, don't want to try to quit, don't want to take the risk in putting their day job. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard with the, the intermittent gig economy sort of stuff. Um, yeah. And there, there's a learning curve and everything else. And... Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, Speakies. Welcome. <laughs> Good to see you joining us. Speakies is another uh, another folk here at the at the creator cabins at Mid Zero. Hey, thanks for hosting me in the space, guys. Hey, welcome. We were talking about cabin dial a bit earlier. Yeah, it's super cool. Um, yeah, the the IRL experience that cabin dial is uh, bringing together is is unreal. How many people are there at once? Um, so there are three separate cabins. So it's technically three nodes. Um, this creator cabins holds its four, four bedrooms. Um, so technically just the four people in this one. Then uh, the other the other cabins can probably fit another, another like six, seven people. But you can probably host a group of uh, like maybe 12 people here total. That's awesome. Nice. And, and do any of those people know each other beforehand? Or is it just kind of like on an individual basis, people are joining? It's kind of like a hostel. It definitely has a hostel feel. And I think that's uh, one of the things that's kind of beautiful about it is you have a lot of people passing through from many walks of life. But there are also some of the core people. Uh, one of the cabins is a, I do believe they, they do stay there regularly, some of the core contributors. And then uh, Cabin Dow also has, you know, a fair 
an impact in Austin. So there are people, various people coming in from, from Austin, familiar faces as well. Nice. Sounds sounds really cool. I wanna I wanna stay there one day. And and it's, you got it. you it's got beautiful. Book ahead, guys. man. These spots fill up quick. <laughs> We're working on it. It's beautiful too. It, it's like uh, I had no idea just how serene and, and, and wonderful the the nature vibes are here. Like it, it's really spacious. Um, there's some big open views and nice green forests. Um, it's it's very nice place. We have a sauna now. Where is it? At? Where is it at again? Texas Hill Country, uh, forty-five minutes west of Austin. Sweet. I've never been to Texas, so that'll be uh, an excuse to get over there. And I've wanted. I've always wanted to go myself. So. Well, I'm going to go try to get a few things done before our next call that we're having at five. So appreciate everyone's time. Uh, you know, feel free to stay in here and chat if you'd all like, but I will see you. If not, I'd not call. I'll see you guys later. I just take care. Thanks for everything. Have a good one. See you guys around.